What's up, what's up guys and ladies, are you ready to rock the vote? I know I... Am I? Which party do I choose? I'm so confused. Who should I choose? Well, let's go over, um... Let's go over the different monsters that we can choose. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and you guys are like, what? Jew, what the hell are you talking about? Um, so... We're gonna go over this. Uh, I don't th these songs though. Um, so we're gonna go over. Uh, Summoner's War has been out. It feels like it has not been out for a year. I think it's just maybe a year since the beta. But um, but yeah. So you get to pick out of five monsters. <laughs> Um, and three of these monsters were in the... I know the Wind Undyne was an old, old uh, Hall of Heroes monster. The Rakshasa was another old Hall of Heroes monster. Ninetales Fox was another old Hall of Heroes monster. Uh, the people are getting confused about the Light Ninja and the Dark Puree, because they're like... Because it says, vote for the Heroic Dungeon that you'd like to visit again. So, um, I know for a fact that the Light Ninja was uh, for the Korean server. So that's why some people are like, we didn't get a light, a light uh, ninja dungeon. Well, that was it was Korean server. I'm assuming that the dark puree um, one was from the Korean server as well. Either that are from one of the other servers. There's what five servers? Yeah, uh, five servers now. So, so we're gonna go over these these monsters, these monsters, and uh, and check out which ones uh, which one we want to get. Which one's the best? I I already like the Jin and the um whatever the Dark Puree's name is because they're rare. And I could and I feel like I could pull um actually I, I do have the nine tailed fox and I feel like I could pull the Rakshasa and the uh, Wind Undyne at some point in time. Also a lot of us have the Rakshasa and the Wind Undyne. Um <clears throat> right right off the bat I'll say from um there's probably more value in the Wind Undyne out of the normal elements based on the fact that you still see her in arena play. You don't really see the uh, the Water Rock Shasta too much. You don't see the Fire uh, Nine Tails that much. So, just based on that, that the Wind uh, the wind Undyne is actually still used and used fairly commonly. So, uh, so maybe, maybe that's one of the... Um, Maybe that's one of the better ones of these single elements, but we're gonna go over the uh, gonna go over the skills of all these guys first. First, before we make any judgments. Okay, leader skill, Jin, uh, the Light Ninja. Leader skill increases the attack speed of ally monsters with light attribute by 30%. Very good for uh, people that are running light teams, and I know a lot of people are like, I want to run a light team. So this is gonna be useful for a lot of people. And I also wanna, I wanna do, oh man, I wanna do a speed fire team. But oh, shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> the best idea ever. Best idea ever. Eleven thousand subscribers at the time I'm making this video, and I'm like, shush, don't tell anyone. No one's gonna know. Um, third skill, sensation, blows up a ray of light to inflict damage two times to all enemies. AOA, uh, AOA, AOE. Nice. Uh, each attack is a 40% chance to increase the enemy's chances of landing a glancing hit for three turns. So, this is an AoE attack, and it's a debuff, which is nice. Nice uh, potential crowd control, so you could even put Despair on that. Uh, despair on him for that. Uh, then we have Slicing Winds, inflicts great damage by slashing the enemy with the energy of the sword, and re reduces the enemy's attack bar by 30%. Um... Also, another good monster. I could see this monster used um, actually in TOA. So you guys might find some uh, some use out of the Jin for TOA. You could put Despair based on his third skill, his leader skill. I mean, if you guys run, um, I know some people actually do run mainly light TOA uh, Trial of Ascension teams. Um, so that's cool. Uh, so he would he would get that massive leader skill uh, attack speed. Plus 30% is amazing if you're running a light team for TOA. Amazing. And the crowd control. And we have another, um, we just had the light sylphid. No, sorry, the light sylph. Which is another crowd control monster. 
uh, two AoE attacks. So, yeah, I mean, we're looking at a potential TOA light team if this guy gets uh, elected, elected to office. So that's pretty cool. Um, slicing winds reduce the enemy's attack, but it's kind of like the, um, kind of like the fire sylph, but it doesn't reduce it all the way to zero. Uh, and then we have, uh, just intin uh, inflict continuous damage for one turn. So that's the first skill is nothing special, but, uh, the other skills are, uh, other skills are potentially pretty cool. Leader skill is pretty cool for TOA. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go on to the next choice. Next choice is the Dark, and I don't know how I don't know her name, because one of my friends has her. So I use her every single day, but I don't know her name. Genius. That's genius level right there. Uh, where is she? Okay. Luna. Yeah, I, I, I would never have remembered that. Leader skill increases the accuracy of ally monsters by 30%. All ally monsters, but uh, accuracy by 30%. I find usually if I have uh, monsters that I want to, that I need good accuracy on, they're going to have good accuracy without the uh, without the leader skill. So I'm not too concerned with that. It's not like resistance. Resistance, usually if I want... You, not too many of my monsters have good resistance. I will say that some of my monsters that have need to have good accuracy have good accuracy, like uh, Tyrant and stuff like that. So uh, let's see. Dark Force locks the enemy with the power of darkness and inflicts damage proportionate to the enemy's max HP. Okay, good against bosses. Good against uh, really powerful monsters. Also in TOA. Uh, poison Shot attacks with a magic card and inflicts continuous damage to the enemy for three turns with an 80% chance. Okay. Those dots. And then Double Shot attacks by throwing two cards, each having a 30% chance to remove a beneficial effect. So... This could be good. I would say... I would say for Giants and Dragons. I would say she was, she's pretty good for Giants and Dragons. Um, if you think about it this way... Uh, dragon's B10, uh, he will give, one of the towers is going to give, uh, the dragon immunity, so, uh, or, yeah, immunity, not invincibility, immunity, um, so this is going to, uh, potentially have the ability to take that off, um, then we have the continuous damage dots, which is good, and the dark force, uh, damage proportion to the enemy's max HP, all, all good for, uh, for dragons. And then the same thing with the uh, with the giants. This is going to be good uh, if the giant buffs up his uh, his uh, attack power and defense. Double shot is going to be good against that. Poison shot, also the dots, and then the dark force proportionate to the uh, enemy's max HP. So that's good for giants and dragons. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the um, the Jin for the TOA is going to be good. Uh, for running a light team, and then I'm thinking the uh, the Luna for for giants and dragons. Woe tails, woe tails. Where's the the next one? Okay, so the next one is the. That's actually not the next one. We'll fine. We'll go to the actual next one, the next choice. Where is she? I can't find her. Okay, because I don't have her. Awesome. Um, so Delphoi. Let's take a look. Her leader skill increases the defense of ally monsters with wind attribute by 40%. This could be good for guild battles, actually. I think I might... If I had her, I might put her into guild battles. I probably would, to be honest. I probably would. Um, and take a win team. Uh, this is also would be good for Giants B10. Leader skill. So that's nice. Um, for arena defense, I would not do that because I would not want to stick a whole wind team. If I was going to do a whole wind team for defense, I would do a speed uh, wind team, and even that is iffy sometimes. Like you could just it could just crap out. Um, but yeah, I would say guild battles. That's nice for giants B10. That's nice for. Uh, third skill removes all harmful effects on all allies, also granting immunity for two turns and recovering 20% of their HP. It's actually a really good skill. 
It's a really good skill. It's like the, um, it's similar to the Water Death Knight, uh, removing the harmful effects, granting immunity. Uh, but instead of the Water Death Knight, is you you can't kill um, after after he does his third skill, you you can't kill him. You can't kill any of the team. Um, so they're basically unkillable. They will just stay at one hit point. Um, but this, you recover. So, depending on the rest of your team, this could be a better or better or worse. Depending on the rest of your team, depending on also who you're fighting against. So. So, what else? Uh, Mind Shock inflicts damage to an enemy and puts the target skill on cooldown. There's just one enemy, though. But that's cool, it's like a mini, um, mini Zeras. <laughs> Um, and actually, I, f I find that um, I do tend to use my Lumericia's uh, second skill, which is going to do the same thing. Uh, I do that in Gil Battles, which I didn't think I was going to do, but I, I, I use it. It works. It works. Uh, and then Lightning Drop, which is after you eat uh, Chipotle and you have to go to the bathroom. You have a, you have a little lightning, lightning Drop. Uh, attacks an enemy with a small lightning, decreasing its attack speed for two turns if the attack lands a critical hit. I don't think that many people are going to build her with crit, but... But it is what it is. It is what it is. But her third skill is going to be awesome, and her leader skill for uh, guild battles is going to be... For guild battles and, um, and Giants B10. If you guys already have a Giants B10 uh, team that, that works very well, like if you have a Rochi or Lucian or something like that, then um, then you really uh, probably not going to be as useful if you already have something lined up. Uh, then we have, but Delphoy is Delphoy is nice. I would not mind having one of her. Who's the next one? Okay. Who? Where is she? Where is she? That hooker. Sue. Okay. Um, her delicate whip attacks and removes uh, attacks and recovers by fifty percent of the inflicted damage. Okay, nice. Uh, stuns the enemy for one turn if you attack an enemy who's suffering from more than two harmful effects. So you have to kind of, you might have to build a team around this, but I think most teams that uh, we have are going to have some kind of uh, harmful effects that they do. So. You don't, you don't really have to build a team around this, but it's it's nice. Potentially stun uh, for one for one monster. Uh, let's see. Fast swing attacks three times in a row and inflicts continuous damage for two turns if you land a critical hit. So you can combo this, but you have to do the second one first and then the uh, and then the third skill. So violent violent might be nice. Fast swing, do the dots. Violent with uh, with high crit and high speed. These girls are always good with high speed. Um, and then uh, do the dots and then stun them. They're like, oh yeah, you want to get those dots off? No. No. Uh, attacks the enemy with a on the first skill. Uh, decreasing the enemy's attack speed for two turns, 50% chance. The damage increases according to attack speed. So of course, like I said, all these uh, all these girls are going to be very good with those uh, with that. Where would I use her? She could be good in Dragon's B10. She could be good in Dragon's B10. She could also be good... Um, there's a lot of... Okay, so in Arena right now, there's a lot of fire teams. The only issue is that this is continuous damage. Um, this is going to decrease the enemy's attack speed. And this is going to stun the enemy. But the fire teams in Arena right now are um, very Chloe uh, dependent. It's a lot of Chloe, and then when you get higher, it's Villa Jewel, and they're just going to do a whole. I mean, it's going to be impossible to with all that immunity. It's just going to be impossible. So, so I think that's why she's not. Uh, she does have the element advantage over the current, the current meta fire team Arena thing going on, but uh, there's just too much invincibility, in my opinion. You can, I've seen these, I've seen these Rakshasas, oh my god, 
I'm gonna have nightmares. There was one guild battle, and two, uh, myself and another one of my guildmates both saw this. Yen just destroy, just get really lucky though. Like violent proc, so much, and just destroy, 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 destroy everything. It was very scary. So these rukshasas can potentially be like crazy, but. Uh, but yeah, she could be uh she could be good for for dragons. I, w I would I would probably put her in uh in dragons. She's not going to stun anything though for the uh uh for dragons B10, I mean. Uh but she's not going to stun anything for like the boss or the towers. But she'll do the dots and that's cool. And that's cool. Yes. And decreasing the uh the enemy's attack speed is also nice. Also nice for that. Okay, and then who do we have? The last one, the Fire Nine-Tailed Fox. Okay. Uh, fire Nine-Tailed Fox leader increases the attack power of ally monsters with fire tribute by 40%. Um, that's quite a sizable, um, quite a sizable leader skill. I mean, quite a sizable amount of uh, attack power increase. You have to have a fire team, though. But this could be good for guild battles as well. I would say that that's uh, probably where I would use her for guild battles. I have, I just got this girl um, in my... If you guys saw the epic fail uh, scroll opening video, it's like 160 scrolls or some ridiculous like that. And it's like... Oh my god, like I got three fire four stars. Uh, it changed though, like... It changed at the beginning of the video. It was like, oh, it was like all wind, which is interesting because it was wind day at the beginning of the video, and then like it crossed over to the next day, and then it was fire monsters, and then uh, like I did myself at the end of the I did myself at the end of the video, but uh, no, that was after I turned the uh, camera off. But um, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> no, it was it was just interesting that uh, after you know after midnight when I was recording it, it was like, oh, now instead of getting all these wind poles, we're getting all these fire poles. Interesting. Um, we, like, it, it transitioned, but anyway. Uh, we have the Phantom Light attacks the enemy five times with a shiny ball and recovers 50% of the inflicted damage as HP. Um, okay, so it would be nice to have a lot of attack power on her. She's an attack monster, obviously. Uh, puts the enemy to enchant, puts the enemy to sleep for two turns. This effect will break when the enemy receives damage. This skill receives 50% additional accuracy. Okay, so it's a two turn sleep. So you don't want to combo this with AoE monsters, because then it's just pointless. Um, then we have Will of the Wisp, attacks the enemy three times with a shimmering light. Oh, let's go to her awakened form, sorry. I'll buy it. Shiwa. Um, okay, each strike has uh, the Will O' Wisp changes. Each uh, strike has a 15% chance to inflict continuous damage for three turns. So potentially you could put nine dots on her if you're really lucky, but or or have her put nine dots on uh, three times three turns um, if you're really lucky. But but also dragons B10 and. Um, Dragons and Giants uh, B10 are not going to... Fire is not really that useful against them. So... So, yeah. Fire, she's she's going to be even with uh, with Dragons B10. But the, the Sleep is not going to do anything to the Dragon. So, and the Leader Skill, you're not going to want to use that for the Dragon's Dungeon. Um, I would say Guild Battles for her. Um, I think that she's the least least beneficial of the five monsters. Um, she just has the least utility. I think that uh, probably next is going to be the the Sioux, the Water Rakshasa. Um, and then for um, I think it's I think it's really going to be between the the Wind Undyne, but a lot of people have that. A lot of people have that, so it's probably not going to get as many votes. Um, 
I would say Dark Puree or uh, Light Ninja. Light Ninja for TOA is going to be awesome, and then the Dark Ninja for uh, Giants and Dragons is going to be is going to be really really cool. So uh, so yeah, I think I think that's that's what it's going to be. Plus they're light and dark four stars, natural four stars. So is it light is natural four star, right? Yeah, they're not going to give they're not going to give you a natural five star. WTFs. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't even know why I thought that they would. I don't even know why I thought that they would. But, um, but yeah. So I think uh, I think it's probably going to be the Jin. I think for me, I'm going to vote for the Jin. I love that attack speed buff. Uh, but I think maybe some people are having trouble with uh, giants and dragons. And even see the thing is like. Um, even with giants and dragons, he's still gonna be he's still gonna be beneficial for giants and dragons too. So he's still gonna he's gonna have those dots. He's gonna have the attack uh, attack bar reduction, and he's gonna have the uh, the glancing hit. So I think I hope he wins. I want one. I want one. So this is the, this is the guy that I'm gonna vote for. Uh, it's gonna be so. So nice, but hey, don't don't take my word for it. Vote for whoever you need. Vote for whoever you need, and let the chips fall where they may. It's uh, it's a community event, so all of us all of us have a have our opinion. All of us have our have our voice be heard. But I I personally I think I think he's gonna win, and I want him the most. But um, I'm all, I also love ninjas, love my ninjas, and I want all of them. Total ninja team, I wish in my dreams. If it is him, though, if it is him, and and we get him, I'll probably just do a fucking ninja team. I don't know. I'm totally if if we get him, I'm doing six star. He's getting six starred, without a doubt. It's gonna it's gonna be fun. So, okay, this video was nine hours too long. It's 22 fucking minutes. What the fuck? 22 minutes. Good job. Good job. Good job, me. I'm awesome. Um, so anyway, hope you guys got some uh, got some information out of this. We just uh, just going over some of the skills and stuff like that. So if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and go vote. Make your voice heard. Don't forget to vote. I know you're going to be like, oh, yeah, watch the video. So I'm hoping that this guy wins, or this guy wins, or this girl wins. And then you're like, yeah, I forgot to vote. What the fuck? Because that's something I would do. I would just forget to vote. So I'm just going to vote right now after I turn this video off. Right now. Which is which is right now. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully with a, a light ninja. Deuces.